Hi Capricorn, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe just down there below underneath the video and hit the bell if you're a new viewer. Welcome to the channel and um, if you are a faithful Cyber Angel follower, then welcome back. Okay Capricorn, this is your reading. And I'm, I'm just keeping it to the tarot this week. And to um, clarification cards and the energy uh, for all over the week from the bottom of the deck. Okay, Capricorn. First of all, on Monday the 24th, you start off with the devil. And the devil is means bad habit addictions. But it could also mean that you uh, might be beholden to somebody or something. This could also be that somebody is manipulating you. And that is also a bad habit if you are, uh, if somebody is codependent on you and you are actually emotionally manipulated by somebody's. Um, bad habit and it turns out that you have a bad habit because you can't let go so usually the devil there's two people beneath the um, devil and they have free hands but they are tied at the waist in the traditional deck so you can free yourself okay free yourself from this bad habit or this addiction make yourself free if somebody is manipulating you nobody is allowed to be manipulated sorry i've just had a bit of bad news so i might be si sounding a really bit si silent um yes i'm here for everybody that needs help or listening here sorry let's get back to the program and in the middle of the week, uh, Capricorn, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles means an ending and a beautiful new beginning. Happy families. And I love these cards. It's so beautiful. It is a transformational period because you might be coming out of a difficult period and going in a beautiful period. Here you've got the rainbow showing you that the universe is connected to the earth um, there might be promotions there might be an inheritance you might have won the lottery you might have come in some beautiful money that you can perhaps buy your house with and so the family can move so this card could also mean moving home to a larger house because you might have had a, a pay rise or you might have um, had a promotion or finally got that job if you didn't have a job it's a transformational period to beauty and unity I'm sorry I forgot and here we've got the six of pentacles underneath the devil and that is give and take and am I glad to see that card so if you're well off you might be giving somebody some money a listening ear or a helping hand you are giving or you might be receiving if you're not that well in doubt then you might be receiving money this could be you Capricorn because you've got the ten of pentacles here so you might be receiving money or you might come into money you might have sown the seeds before as we are moving from the 6th to the 7th, you've planted seeds and they take time to grow. You've got the 7 of Pentacles. It takes time to grow and you have been patient and you've been diligent trying to find a job, getting everything into balance. And you've got the 10 of Pentacles as a result and this could be midweek. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely. You can see that you've broken loose from the devil. You are giving help, or but you also need help. You, that's why I call it my give and take card. 
you are not beholden onto somebody. You are, um, and you are quite aware that people can be codependent, and you're not, um, you're not there for them. You are there with them, and that is how a relationship should be. But if this is not in a relationship, then you also know how to give the right way, the helping hand or the listening ear. And you know that you do not lend money to somebody that is uh, dependent on alcohol or anything like that, they, or they might have an addiction to buying something. So you don't give money to the person with the bad habits. You've helped them, you've, uh, you've told them, seek help, and you are sharing. So I think that is a very beautiful way of having friendships and relationships, whether it is love or business. And you've grown, you can see that you have grown, and you're growing even more Capricorn. Because you've got the Eight of Swords on Friday, so you might feel tied up, but you are breaking away because you are growing and you are becoming the king and the king knows how to invest and everything that he touches will turn to gold. He's got the meter's touch. So everything that this king does um, is turns into a profit, but he also knows it takes time to grow. That's how he's become a king and reached this status. You might, otherwise you might meet a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. They take their time and they invest for long-term and durability. At the weekend, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups means that you might be feeling out of sorts. You might feel left out from a, a group of people at work or from family or friends. Well, on a Friday you don't, you couldn't see where you were going, and you felt tied up. But you look, the hands are free. Okay, the hands are free. So she's already on her way to freeing herself. Although she feels stuck in a cobweb, and she has to take off the blindfold. And I think you're doing that on Friday because you have invested in something and it is turned into gold or you might have met an earth sign like yourself and you might feel a bit out of sorts because um, you have again um, cut yourself off, closed yourself off so don't go back into that bad habit and if you want, this is short lived anyway the Five of Cups when you feel left out and you are protected by the angels and the universe. It's short-lived, but you have to know to... You're finding it difficult, I feel, to maintain balance. And uh, you have to open your heart, your solar plex and your mind to new possibilities and that things are good and that... Nobody has to be dependent on you, or you don't have to depend on anybody else. You're growing steadily and surely, so keep that heart open and the solar plex. And the overall energy is judgment, a new beginning. But judgment, you know, you're getting a second chance at something. So there is a new beginning. This is where Gabriel, in the traditional deck, blows life into the uh, risen dead and here you can see the uh, rainbow again in the wings of the phoenix and the phoenix is also rising from the dead you're having a new start boom you've got the ten of pentacles your wealth or being uh, and your well-being is coming together you're having a new start you're finishing with the old there will be news, perhaps news, of judgment and justice. Because judgment is the word judge. So something might have come clear to you, and because you are already uh, loosening yourself 
from being tied up and coming out of your mind and you and things are getting better for you whatever you touch turns to gold so you might hear about a result through email telephone or text message on uh, in, during the week because you've got the page of swords justice will be done judgment is done and you're in the clear okay and again the angels the clarification card abundance ten of pentacles again and judgment good news so abundance of love or abundance of wealth um, and well-being will be coming to you because you have grown like i said and here you go you've got surrender to full power there could even be a leo in the vicinity or around you that might be coming in and be a partner to you your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than you play it small so dream big because it can happen and you know don't stay your small self go out there um, spread your wings like the phoenix and rise from the ashes new powerful powerful beginning okay i think this is a beautiful reading you are letting people go that are draining you that is what you've learned so you're not being beholden to anybody and you're not being manipulated by anybody you're standing in your own power well done capricorn and you will be receiving news about investments or new jobs so long you keep the balance and open up then you will go from the four of pentacles to more okay um uh it's the five of cups but then if you open up then you can mean literally opening up going out there and meet people mingle with people uh, could be at the bingo club could be at the gym could be at the uh, swimming pool wherever you at work open up start your own group mingle with people and open up and you won't feel left out so open your heart, open your mind, and open your solar plex. And the abundance is coming towards you. So be open for that. Look at that card. I've got the blinds down for the sun, and yet, boom, it's like a magical light. The ray of sun is magically shining on this card. And your chakras will be cleared. So be open to receive. Capricorn, I, um, I'm going to go into abundance because I think it's such a beautiful card and um, it's, yeah, a magic card and especially because of the light reflection, the ray, the golden sun. Okay, abundance, abundance, great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity. That's the king of pentacles okay and you have to open up to receive that's beautiful okay your plans will yield pro prosperity providing a sense of security about the future your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams abundance is not always financial in nature you may be seeking or manifesting uh, new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health or romantic love. The card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures in your life. Open your arms to the heaven or the universe to receive with gratitude that which you desire. Wow, amazing. I'm sorry about that Capricorn, but I think that card is so magical. I hope you have liked this reading. Please share and like and take care. Give us the thumbs up and I'll see you tonight. Ciao, ciao.